concentrate. So um, with these hybrid systems, the most efficient way to get power back. Uh okay, turn five was good this lap. Keep being smooth there to have the tyres as strong as possible for turn seven. Turn seven is where we're doing most rear damage. You'll get three more laps after this. Who's down at the end of the straight. And the reason that Max was complaining and that drivers find it very annoying <laughs> is because it really messes with your braking references because instead of the car accelerating and continuing at a, a fairly steady speed of, say, 210 miles an hour, it's that final chicane, um, suddenly the car will start decelerating down to 295 or 290 even. And that, that can play havoc with uh, yeah, where you have to pick your braking point and you have to calculate that if, if it's changing lap on lap as the hybrid system tries to adapt to the energy level that it's got. Uh, the rails are destroyed. Copy. Um, yeah, the, the hybrid system can chop and change lap to lap. That can make it even harder. So Max clearly not happy with how they've got that software rigged up at the moment. Uh, how did you find that? Front brakes are a little bit warm. In, when, you, when you had your race in Bahrain, was there anything that, that you sort of weren't ready for let's say because obviously you've done some free practice ones and stuff, but and you've done a load of sim work but was there anything when, when the race came that, that was was actually kind of a brand new experience i think a lot of um a lot of stuff was covered off quite well i'd had an fp1 with the car about six or seven months prior to that and i'd done a lot in the simulator and um i had the experience of the car to to sort of know what to expect the thing that caught me off guard was um, things that you can't simulate in a, in a test session, such as going into the first few corners with a lot of cars in front of you throwing up dirty air, and the amount of downforce that you lose is unbelievable. And everyone told me to expect it, uh, yeah. and still I went in locking up, thinking, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I'm going to crash. <laughs> gonna and wipe out. I don't know what happened, just uh, under braking, I had anti -stores. Just check everything before I go these cars nowadays. I don't know what happened, just uh, under braking, I had anti -stalls. Just check everything before I go. Bottas had a lock up on the front ride into the into the hairpin, but also saying he was getting the, the car going into sort of anti-stall under the, oh hey, big slide from Perez, coming into the right hander of eight, but uh, yeah, car going into anti-stall, so presumably as it's kind of going down through the, the gears or something. I think it's to do with how bouncy uh, uh, and bumpy these braking zones are, with it being a street circuit. You know, we saw earlier in the session Lance Stroll complaining about um, d downshifts being uh, a bit weird um, earlier in the lap, and uh, the anti stall can actually kick in if the if you go over a bump and start to lock the rear wheels the RPM of the engine drops quite suddenly, mm. and the the engine software can detect. Update me or something. So the last lap, George was a 20.3. It's out. Uh, nobody on a lap at the moment by the, by the looks of things. Well, they're all are on track bar Norris and Bottas. Norris, uh, let me just have a look, because Norris... He's been in the pit lane for a long time, hasn't he? Yeah, and he was, like... uh, we saw a shot of him watching on at the, uh, the debrief. Ah, the, he had an issue with uh, Norris's car. That's... All they're saying, all McLaren is saying, but it brought his session to to an end. So he did a reasonable amount of laps, Norris. Well, actually, you know what? Did 17 laps, whereas others did about 30, maybe a bit more than 30. Ricardo did 28, so lost 10 laps of running, Lando Norris, with whatever that that issue was. So not ideal for for if, Norris. If you're going to lose 10 laps at some stage of the weekend, FP1 is the time to do it, just because of how dirty the track still will be. You know, we're still seeing a lot of dust coming up from the cars. Last lap, last, last lap. We have a nice early press and hold again. Well, FP2, just in time for torrential rain, <laughs> if the forecast <laughs> is right. So you'll be very pleased about that, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, Max Verstappen ends the session fastest, a 1 minute 15.158, a quarter of a second ahead of Carlos Sainz, three tenths ahead of uh, Fernando Alonso, four tenths ahead of Perez, half a second ahead of Leclerc in fifth. And then it's Russell sixth, Stroll seventh. In fact, Stroll and Hamilton doing an identical lap time. Uh, in Stroll in 7th and Hamilton 8th, Vettel ninth. Daniel Ricciardo completing the top 10 in the McLaren, Gasly, Norris, Albon, Sonoda and Ocon the top 15, Bottas and Joe 16th and 17th, 